Oliver here, setting up a uh, new koi pond. Um, I'm based down in Surrey. Um, I figured I'd just document the the build process um, and everything that that is somewhat entailed. Um, I started this a bit late, as as I've started already digging out the old pond um, and removing old brickwork to to make room for it. Um, but I will show you around of, of what we've done so far and what we're going to continue doing. There we go. Sorry about that. So this is the uh, entire garden um, and this all sort of rubble that, that we sort of already pulled out. Um, we do have a couple of, of little fish that were in the original pond. Uh, just some tench and uh, shabunkins and a few minnows to kill any mozzie larvae. Um, and they'll probably be going in the new pond. Um, here we actually had all this brickwork which followed this all the way around to here and also came across here. Um, and then there was another pond that was already here. Um, but it was a bit naff. It was about a foot or so, a foot and a half in depth. Um, sort of about 12, 12 foot wide in a bit of a, a crescent shape so just working through on now removing the, the final base which fortunately isn't just solid concrete but it's a lot of stone and sand and so it breaks up relatively easy and there's no reaper hover reinforcement uh, so it breaks out quite easily um, and then yeah we'll we'll then crack on with the actual pond dig um, pond dig itself should hopefully be done uh, digging sort of commencing next Monday um, it's sort of going to run from the fence line there in line with this brickwork here and it's probably going to end very roughly around here uh, it's going to be about 10, 10 foot wide or so in total um, and then that's going to run down the length of the garden um, it's going to be about 16 foot wide um, the fence line kind of goes diagonally so it actually ends up being slightly here in 10 foot from, from the fence line there and then basically run straight down there. Uh, it's going to be five foot in total, uh, three foot above ground, three foot above ground, two two foot below, um, and then also you know dug down, we're digging down three foot, um, so that we can actually have about a nine or ten inch concrete base. Um, the concrete base is going to be C35 concrete, uh, reinforced mesh, um, and then we're going to have two bottom drains running through it as well, which should be quite nice. Uh, just over here where I'm actually digging out this old pond here this is actually going to eventually be sort of filter house um, and then along the width ways here i um, going to end up having a sort of two metre long window as well as also doing the exact same thing on on this side here as well so in total you'll have two windows in it um, it's approximately 5,000 gallons in total uh, so ju just around sort of 22,000 litres it should be. Um, I'm still kind of finalising what I'd like to do for the filtration side of stuff, um, which I'll run through in a, a later video, probably once I've actually ordered it um, and decided fully what I'm going to get. Uh, so yeah, um, this is my koi build. <laughs> 